What's up YouTube? Mike here again with another video and today I wanted to do a, another one on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A 10.1 with S Pen. I've done a couple videos on this now and I've gotten a lot of questions and a lot of requests to demo more features of this. And one of them that I wanted to cover was the S Pen. This is probably the most distinctive feature about the Galaxy Tabs, at least the versions with the S Pen obviously. And to me, this is my favorite feature. So I just want to do a video showing you all the features and uses of the S Pen that I've discovered. And if there's something I missed, I'm sure you guys will let me know about it in the comments. But uh, please do so, so I can actually learn for myself. But with that, let's take a closer look at this and get started. All right, so this will be the second time I've tried filming this. First time I did a screen capture and it wasn't able to show everything on screen. So this time I'm just going to show you the actual device uh, zoomed in here. So again, obviously you've got to have a Samsung device uh, with an S Pen, obviously for this to be of any use to you. But in every device, whether it be a Note series phone or the Galaxy Tab tablets that have the S Pen, it's stored in the device. And when you remove it, of course you get your air command window. You know, a lot of this is configurable in the settings, but this is the S Pen itself. Um, obviously, it's got one single button on it, and right now that's limited functionality for that button. All it does is bring up your air command, but you can tap this to make it go away, and you have this little floating icon. Now, this icon, you can configure this in settings if you don't want to have this. Um, I like it just because it lets me know that, hey, my S Pen is undocked, so... If I lose my S Pen, I can look down at my screen and know that, hey, the S Pen is not in right now. But uh, you can remove this, hit remove, and if you want your S Pen menu to come, or Air Command menu to come, you just hit the button on the S Pen and it brings up your Air Command. So that's really the only function for the button on the S Pen right now is to bring up your Air Command. So like you see here, you have six apps that you can have in the air command window and these are configurable in the settings which I'll show you so if you look to the bottom left here's your settings menu and when you open that it takes you right to the air command feature so you've got your shortcuts right now it shows what I currently have selected and here's how you turn off and on the floating icon this little button here so right now if I bring up the shortcuts it'll show you what you have active on the right side of the screen. So these are the six apps that I currently have. When I bring up my air command, and obviously if I hit the minus button, it makes it, it removes it. So you can add any app that you have installed you know, on the tablet is an air command selection. And of course on the top, these are the actual native Samsung apps available. And while I'm showing you this, this is another feature of the S Pen is when you hover it over something, it'll tell you what it is so it tells me hey this means remove and it depends on the app and what you're doing but it works essentially like a mouse so we'll go back and you can also use the mouse to hit your two taptic buttons here or not the mouse but the S Pen excuse me so we'll go back to the home screen and I'm going to tap this to bring up my air command or you can use your button to bring up your air command and we're going to go through these one by one so um, obviously, the first four are the actual built-in Samsung apps. As far as OneNote and Sketchbook for Galaxy are ones that I set up to be in Air Command. And again, you can set this up any way you so desire. <clears throat> so, creating a note, this obviously brings up Samsung's own S-Note app, and it works as it should. You know, it's you can take notes, draw, whatever, but if you go to Brush... This is where you've got the options to sketch. And as you can see right now, it's got a pencil selected. And if I do it normal, you get a normal pencil stroke. But there is a little bit of tilt built in. As you tilt it, you see that the stroke gets wider. So there is tilt. It's obviously not perfect. Um, it's not as wide as, per se, the Apple Pencil. But there is tilt. But it's only built in on the Samsung app specifically. So moving on, Smart Select. And Smart Select is one of the key features of the S Pen. It brings up multiple choices. You've got rectangle, lasso, oval, and GIF or GIF. So you can do a GIF um, if you so desire. And the rectangle, lasso, and oval is just the shape 
that you're going to use when you want to select what's on the screen. So um, if I bring that back up, Smart Select, this will let you allow you to select anything you want on the screen. And obviously it's a rectangle, so it's going to pick this. And it just took a picture of it. And you can draw on it, you can share it, or save it. So if you draw on it, obviously you can take notes on it and essentially save it, send it, whatever you want to do. So we're going to discard this because I don't want it. I'm going to go back again. <clears throat> now obviously if you select lasso or oval, it does essentially the same thing. Lasso, it'll kind of do a smart select where it'll crop it and make it almost like a PNG. And animation GIF is just like it sounds. So if I go, say, YouTube. Oh, let me back out of this. There we go. If I open YouTube... We'll just pick a random video here. Uh, random, I mean mine, just so I don't get a copyright thing. While that's loading, so here I'll go to Smart Select. If I hit Animation GIF, it brings up this little box, and you can move this anywhere you want. You can resize it, and whatever is inside that, you can record up to a 15-second GIF or GIF. Right now my internet... It's not want to cooperate, so it's being slow, but you get the idea. So anything on the screen, so any video, you can record a 15 second GIF. It'll let you um, draw on it if you want. So you can draw on it, you can share it, and you can save it. So simple as that. And this is a carryover from the Galaxy Note 7. So the only good thing about the Note 7 dying is they actually carried over some of the features from it and brought it to the various tab a tablets that actually have S Pen support. So moving on, now you've got screen right. When you hit screen right, as you see, it takes a picture of whatever's on the screen. So it'll be full screen, but again, you've got the option to crop it, share, save, and you can draw on it. So right now, I can draw all over this thing if I want, and you can save it. So this will take the entire screen, and of course, you can crop it. So that's just another way to take screenshots. So moving on, like I said, you smart select, screen right, now translate. And right now my internet connection is being kind of crappy, but we'll see if it'll work. So we'll open up Chrome. So right here it's got some Spanish words. So if I bring that up, bring up translate, all you do is hover it over. And this is if you've got an internet connection. And there it is, buenos dias. It means good morning. And you can actually make it play the audio as well. There you go. So it works well, and obviously you can pick the language on the top what you want, and again, this is based on internet connection, but it works, and it works well. So we'll go back home, and of course, the last two are just apps that I have that I like to choose, and I'll show you a few more features of the S Pen. So we'll close that. I'll go to my photo gallery, and again, using this kind of like a mouse, when you hover over it, it shows you everything that's in that folder. So as you see, there's six items in my screenshot folder. I hover it over, and you can click on any one of those. So it's just a way to improve your workflow a little, to make things go a little faster instead of just using your finger, and it gives you a preview. And then you're in YouTube, it also lets you kind of air scroll along the video, and it'll show you what's next. And the same thing, uh, let's say if we go to our calendar app. Let me open up calendar. There it is. Now when you hover your mouse, uh, I keep saying mouse because it works just like a mouse, but if I hover my S Pen over it, it gives me expanded information. So I've got dental right here, and it tells me the time and whatever else you type in. So it's pretty nifty, actually. So that way you don't have to open the whole event to see what's there. And perfect timing for email. And speaking of email, so if you use open up the email, Again, if I hover over this, it's going to show me what's in the email. So you don't have to open it. It's almost like a force touch or 3D touch on an iPhone where you hold it and then you tap and it opens it. Same kind of principle. So it tells me what's in there and I can actually respond to it, open it, set a reminder, delete it. So pretty nifty. Again, it works just like a mouse essentially. So you hover over this and uh, it works well. But 
so far, these are all the features that I've actually noticed and found with the S Pen. And it's going to be kind of app dependent, so certain apps have more or less S Pen support. So, uh, based on what it is. But, yeah, I keep using my train of thought. We'll pick back up. But if you're watching this and you are a current uh, owner of either a Note Series tablet or um, Tab A, I'm curious if there's some features that I'm missing that you've actually discovered, just so I can actually learn for myself. But those are all the features and uses that I found for the S Pen. Again, it's definitely um, not just a gimmick. It's fairly productive. Um, I like it. I like using it to take notes and just to use as a uh, um, almost essentially a mouse. So with that, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of down, dirty, quick, and uh, hopefully it helped you out if you actually have one of these devices. So if you're not subscribed, please do it and go ahead and do so. Thanks.